that's right. Today's sneak peek is all about Power League. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about what I think might be the new best feature in Brawl Stars and some tips for how you can do well in Power League. Let's do it. All right, now we're going to play some live matches so you can get the full experience for how it feels to play Power League because it does feel stressful, which is one reason why I'm excited about it. You want that high competition level. Now, one other thing, this is in developer build and it's not exactly a final product. There are some small glitches. For example, you press the information icon, you can see the timer thing is not working because it's in dev build, but in live build, that should be working. Now, if you remember from Brawl Talk, you can compete either in solo or team. In solo, you only face other people who are also playing in solo in team. You can only play in a team of three against other teams of three. You have to do a best of three. In other words, the first to two wins, wins the match. If you draw, it doesn't count. You just have to keep playing until you get to two wins. Doesn't matter how many draws you get. I think. All right, let's explain how banning and drafting works because it's a little bit complicated and there's also one really big flaw with this that I'll talk about and how they're working on a fix for it. Now, first of all, a coin is flipped to determine the draft order, but both teams will ban at the same time. They're blind bans, meaning you can actually both ban the same brawler. Like if you're playing Snake Prairie, you both ban Bo, it's too bad. There's only one ban for that match. By the way, the captain is the one who picks the bands, and the captain on each team is decided by whoever has the highest rank uh, on that team. Now, I will say the banning phase goes by pretty quickly, and I've definitely panicked a lot of times because the map gets chosen really quickly, and then you have 20 seconds to one, look at the map, and then decide what's a good brawler to ban on that map. Regardless, while you're thinking about that, after that, you also have to find the brawler among the 45. Maybe you've memorized this, and with some practice, it probably won't be too hard, but at first, it's a little confusing. The other part is you actually have to double tap on the brawler you want banned, and this also applies to drafting as well. If you do not double tap, it won't work. And also, if you don't pick a ban or when you're drafting, if you don't pick a brawler for a draft, the whole match is canceled. That's right. If one person on either side doesn't ban a brawler or doesn't draft a brawler, it doesn't automatically do it for you. Instead, it cancels the match. The reason for this, I've been told, is they don't want players who are away, who are AFK. They don't want people who just quit the match to still be in the process. They want to go, okay, this is a competitive mode. We want to have integrity. We don't want to have matches where people are bots or they're not playing at all. I understand that, that's a valid reason. But for example, if you don't like a ban pick or a draft pick that one of your teammates or enemy did, you might have people who just decide not to draft, that way they don't have to do the match and just try to have favorable conditions. So there's definitely going to be people trolling who will on purpose not pick a brawler in order to cancel the map. So this is a very, very, very huge flaw and it will probably immediately get picked up on. Uh, they are working on something to discourage this. I'm not sure what they're planning, but I think they're leaning towards some sort of punishment probably for doing this too often. Uh, I'm kind of making this up. That's just what I believe they're going to do, but I'm not quite sure. Now, a rant aside, you probably saw in the drafting process First, there's a coin flip to decide who drafts first. That team gets one pick and then it switches to the other team for two picks. And then it switches back for another two picks and then back for the final one pick. With this, you can sort of counter the other team and you can also sort of try to build a type of team comp. All right, let's do some live matches, but you probably want to know what the rewards are for this. By the way, here's a chart that shows you what league rank you will be based on your highest score in power play. Pause if you want. All right, now, you only gain rewards based on your highest rank in either solo play or team play. It's not both. And also, it's only the highest rank you achieved throughout the season. If you tilt, it still only counts what your highest possible was. It's not what your end rank is. It's just your highest rank you got during the season. Now, with that, there's 19 leagues. 
and you can see the rewards right here if you want to pause and take a specific look go ahead the max possible reward is 40,000 star points and there are also other rewards like profile icons and the ability to unlock smuggler penny or rather the ability to buy smuggler penny now also the requirements at the bottom here to reach these profile icons and smuggler penny these are not accurate that's not what it's going to be this is just dev build stuff that uh is going to be different in the live build i'm not sure what the actual requirements are going to be to unlock the ability to uh play smuggler penny or buy smuggler penny all right now here is smuggler penny if you're wondering her winning animation losing animation is the same but she does have a cool style and she has some really cool effects now she is going to be 25,000 star points, but here is her main attack. It honestly looks like bigger than her normal one. And this is the coin effect as well. It honestly, the whole skin just looks so much better. Now this is the turret. When you throw it, it also looks different. There it is there, dude. Look at the, it looks like an energy ball firing out. It kind of looks like a, a Jesse orb in a way. And here's what happens when you explode it. Yeah, gadgets typically don't have the effects of a skin. Okay, we got a match. I'm Captain, let's go. It's Hard Rock Mine. Okay. Okay, what should we ban? What should we ban? I mean, Amber, I guess. Let's, let's go with Amber. Okay, I, I banned right away. They had first ban. But that's cool. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have 8-bit Jean, possibly, but you know, the, my team is just showing what they wanna pick. They have first pick, and then I think we get two picks in a row, and then they pick twice, and then we pick once. I think that's how this is going. Uh, right, okay, so I have last pick here. All right, honestly, running out of time. I'm just gonna pick, let's go for the heels. Perhaps, I think Nita will do pretty well versus Poco and Rosa. I'll get a lot of supers. That's my hope here. Wait, wait, why is it? Why is the, I, the okay, there might be some small bugs here. Hopefully it has the right. This is dev build, it's still a work in progress. Keep that in mind. So hopefully I have the right star power. I do have the right gadget. Okay. Oh, they got the speed. The quickest versatility! I should have checked! I'm a noob! I did a noob mistake! Yikes. Come on, kids. Check your bushes. Oh, no. My emote's on the wrong spot. Let's go like this. Okay, push them back with my bear. Now at least we have bushes again. Kill Poco. I don't want to get the gems. I'm just trying to get more of my super. Let's go like this. Use my gadget again. Push them back. Maybe I should have saved my gadget. I don't know. Oh, crap. This is not where I want to be. It's fine. It's fine. Let's pull together as a team. But Poco Rosa, this is quite annoying. I've got to say. Oh, good pull. Okay. Throw bear. I need to kill this Poco at least so they stop countdown. Oh no! Oh, wait, it's fine! Okay, let's go! We stole all the gems! That's what I'm talking about! Okay! Throw bear! Oh, the steel! Dude, let's go! We had to pull from Francie and a little bit of teamwork! They couldn't escape! Oh, we stole a victory! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about! Alright! Now! Rosa appeared on my side. All right, so this is something that's gonna happen with like a best of threes. You know, you're gonna react to how they played the beginning of the match. I better check push this time, right? Oh no, okay, there's Rosa. Rosa switched sides. Interesting. Uh, I'm not maybe gonna get this kill, but I'm okay with it. I got my super. I'm in their bush. Let's go like this. No, I died? Oh, I'm not used to that stew match, maybe? I died quicker than I thought, to be honest. Um, I thought I was gonna get behind the wall and it wouldn't hit me. Let's go like this. Can heal up my bear? Okay, I did get the final hit. All right, fine. Oh, this is a death. That's a death. Let's go like this. 
Maybe we can catch them making a mistake? Alright, well, at least we got some pushback here. We do have some gems. But also, it's looking a little tough. There's a kill. Dude, the speed, though, is kind of annoying. I've got to say. <gasps> oh, thank you for the uh, gadget from Gene, because that was not looking very good. Oh. Hmm. Uh, oh! Wait! Wait! <laughs> okay! Interesting. Good pull, good pull, good pull. Let's say, let's get some heals from Francie here. Throw up a bear. Put up a gadget. Oh, there it is! There it is! Okay! Again, we're stealing the gems! That's what I'm talking about! Nita! Alright, so best of three. We won both games! It's a victory! <laughs> Hey, make sure to check out the other update sneak peeks right over there if you haven't seen them yet. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later. Peace.